B-Trigger and goes nuts, right? He can do that, but he often doesn't do that. Instead, he plays this interesting neutral game with uh, Nikali. He confirms into higher damage combos from Dive Kick than most Nikalis do. When he's in B-Trigger, he's not just about rushing in. He will still sometimes back off in size Mo Zone. Yeah. Right? So he, he, he has control over the character in a way that few people do. And that's been the, start, uh, the way that it's been since the start of Street Fighter V. And one of the interesting things, like, can you imagine right now if Haitani was, makes it into the top eight of, on the winner's side? Remember, when Street Fighter V first came out, everyone said Haitani was the best player in Japan. Yep. And so if this can come full circle in here at Capcom Cup, and he could be one of the only players in, in the top four on winner's side, it's almost kind of like he's been so consistent all year long. He hasn't been able to like win the big tournament. Right, right. But he's he's like always up like, there. Yeah, he's in top eight like at every event. So th this is no different. Here he is in top eight again. Well, close to top eight. We're close to top eight. Close if he wins this eight. one, he's yeah. in there. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. But Kazunoko already, uh, we, we saw him able to dismantle Fudo, who was one of the most intelligent, careful players. Kazunoko was able to defeat him with his erratic style. Let's see if he can do the same thing to Haitani. Oh, wow. Just let's just start with a great jump in. Already, Kazunoko's where he wants to be. Pressuring. Okay, there's Haitani. Blocks, then dragon punches rather than just wake up TP. I like that. Okay. Throws a little bit of un uncertainty into the machine. And Kazunoko right now has been utilizing his jump so well. He's done late dive kick, he's just done jump fierce. He's done early dive kick, and now he just did EX dive kick. So he is keeping his airborne game very unpredictable. But here comes Haitani. Oh, oh. that is going to be pain. Yeah, I'll say. Just like that. End of the round for one uppercut. And that's one of the scary things for Cammy. Oh, yeah. I mean, she's one of the characters has an uppercut. Huge benefit. But she's an uppercut character with 900 health and 900 stun. Right. So if it gets blocked, you saw what happened. Yeah, I, I like Cammy in the neutral game in a, lot, in a lot of ways in this matchup, but yeah, she cannot make mistakes. Nice. Has the anti air on point. All right. Haitani is still caught in the corner. Using that V reversal to try to stave off the pressure, but Kazunoko, after blocking it, just goes right back in and throws. And gets to the other side. Haitani is not ready for it. Almost stunned, oh, and yep. there it is. Doesn't even need the stun. The throw was enough to kill Nikali. Kazunoko tying it one to one round apiece. In there, Kazunoko. Trying to navigate. Does get some great damage in there. All right, off the counter hit. Haitani's huh. gonna get the confirm. Oh, nice. The reactions took control with that jab. Yeah, so far, Kazunoko has been able to get in for free with the air EX dive kick. Oh, nice reaction to the neutral jump. Oh, no uppercut there that time. And he uses that. Oh, okay. He's going to call. Yeah, there it is. Right into the critical art. Oh, not oh, enough. Wow, Kami lives. Right, you don't say that very often. Oh, man. This is a scary time. This is scary, scary time. Oh, <laughs> a little counter poke. <laughs> Stomp on your foot. Stomp on your foot. Oh, it's a win. game, so it's consequential. But even when that happens mid-match and it's not that consequential, it still makes you think as the person who got hit, man, I'm so predictable that even the stand short is good enough to <laughs> hit me. <laughs> it has a nice hitbox on it. That's not the issue. It's just you don't see it very often. Mm -hmm. so that's really good to know now for Haitani. Uh, because it was a kill, it might actually uh, put it into Kazunoko's head to be scared to throw off that crouching medium kick, one of Kami's best footsie tools. But Kazunoko here starting with a great... Oh, man! Haitani has not had his anti-airs on point at all, and yeah. Kazunoko has had the anti-neutral jumps on point. We saw that against Pluto, and we see it yeah. here, too. Oh, he wanted the stun. That's oh. why for that nice block on the uppercut. And that is the power of Kami's roundhouse uppercut. It goes so far forward that you should not be able to neutral jump against Kami. Or once you get into the corner, it's very easy for her to chase you down. Yeah. Wow. His jump fierce is from Kazunoko. His jump timing 
has been so on point. Yeah, absolutely. But Haitani has had these little interruptions that have been able to turn into big, big damage for him. Look at this. That That's interruption. Stun. Remember, That's that, stun, remember yeah. that crouching jab that interrupted Kami's offense, and now all this has happened because of that? Oh, boy. Oh, it missed! Oh, we've seen that a couple of times today. They're trying to escape with the roundhouse version of the super, but usually that hits. Right. And then that pops them up into the air. That's supposed to... Huh. I don't know. Oh, second V reversal thrown, and now gets the meaty. Haitani had such an opportunity there, but just tried to get Kazunoko off of him with a couple of V reversals, and Kazunoko was able to throw both of them. Now Kazunoko tying it up one to one. Round one. Okay. Fight. Nice yeah. time. Yeah, I, I, he's, been, he's been doing so well. I mean, Haitani wants to control space. He wants to go right. B meter. But Kazunoko has been able to get over that. Like, I'm, I'm so worried that I'm just going to be saying again <laughs> over and over and over again. <laughs> watching you gotta, this happen. You got to do what you got to do, James. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Stays in the front. Didn't go behind. Oh, nice. Kind of that whiff option select. Oh, wanted Ooh. something big there, Candy did. And she got it this and time. And it pays up. Oh, wow. I, that was such a late V trigger from Kazunoko. He's going to be able to confirm off that, though. Hatani's still in there. All he needs is... Wow, Ooh, okay. He's okay. a mix-up away from taking this. Oh, that might be it. That uppercut Co mistake. Oh, man. It is! <laughs> oh. <laughs> there, you just uh, can't make yeah, errors uh -huh, as Kami uh -huh, against uh -huh. Nikali. <laughs> and then you see Kazunoko's like, okay, okay, don't up again. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, okay, okay. Well, you have to okay. sometimes, or yeah. else you're just going to get predictable. <laughs> All right, Haitani getting in there with a the throw. Gets the meaty crouch medium kick combo. Trying to maintain that pressure and trying to control space with that neutral jump. And what's interesting, Kazunoko fishing with Stan Roundhouse. And finally, we see a Haitani anti-air. Standing jab, beating that jump fierce, finally. Yeah, it's a really interesting neutral game from Kazunoko. Uh, just no anti-airs from Haitani. Not an uppercut, not a stand jab, nothing. They've been very sparse, that's for sure. No super. Oh, okay, keeping went the for corner. the mix-up instead. Cammy's in. Ooh. Haitani still caught there. He spent the bar of V-meter. That's for those are precious bars for him. That could have been into V-trigger right. if he still had oh, it, but, but he didn't. There it is. He's gonna get it on that critical art again. And yeah, again, just the damage. It's really honestly that's how this match has gone so yep. far. Is Kazunoko is just pestering, pestering, yes. pestering, pestering. Haitani, one hit dead. Yeah. <laughs> Kazunoko is doing like 80% of what he wants to do. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Uh, and then he makes an error and or, or <laughs> Haitani has a smart interruption timing, right. and all of a sudden it's over. Yeah, and <laughs> saw that look on Kazunoko's face, he's like, man, this is a low-life character. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, well, she's one of the best characters in the game even still. Yep. So the price for low health is excellent mobility and damage and screen control. Great footsies, yeah. uh, 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 <laughs> a, a meterless lot of uppercut. Yeah. Again, that jump fierce timing, and I'm gonna say it every time. You gotta do it. Oh no. <laughs> so, so Haitani really tried to wake up with buttons right there. And that's something that the Nikali's will do. They'll wake up with the jab, V trigger cancel. If they get the hit, big damage. If not, they're safe. Or they can have advantage even. But there were true meaties and all of that. Yeah, and honestly, the Seismo has not really factored in. Finally, Haitani looks like he's gonna try to use it a little bit more. Yeah, he would love to be able to build V-Meter faster and get into Trigger faster. Nice reaction with the uppercut from Kazunoko. Again, oh. with the uppercut from Kazunoko. So now V-Trigger's in there. Oh, that's... Oh, Ooh, if that had been EX. EX. Yeah, I'm really surprised he did not do it. I thought that was going to be it. I... And then just swiping at Kami and Kazunoko is caught. And now Haitani. One round, One round away from advancing to the top eight tomorrow at the PlayStation Experience. Those neutral jumps are dangerous. 
Yeah, we've seen Kazunoko be able to react to those already. Nice double dive kick. Oh, he was trying to bait out an uppercut, and I really feel like that's what Haitani went for, and it didn't come out. So again, we have Kazunoko getting in when he wants to get in, pressuring well. The question is, can he take the round because of it? Right? Or will Haitani find two or three hits? Oh, yep. Maybe like it this. Is. Good start. Okay, the throw now. Oh, it's so scary. He's gonna activate the V trigger nice. to try to discourage Haitani and get a little bit extra damage for the anti air. Safe stuff. Kazunoko in still. Will he pressure? Will he take the risk here? Yes. Yes. Oh, and there he is. He gets to confirm. And it's so dangerous because one hit from Haitani would have just taken that round. Just combo right into the, 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 the critical iron would have taken it. But Kazunoko, fearless in his meaties, gets the counter hit, gets the confirm, and is able to tie it two to two. And we are coming down to the last game here in this match. Remember, we already know who they're going to play Round against. One. It'll be Ricky Ortiz against one of these two men. Mm, nice timing. Itani trying to integrate that round pound a little bit more. Look at that Almost stun bar. Oh. This is going to be big You know, you damage. often see people uppercut when they're close to stun because the penalty is not going to be as great as it could be otherwise. But I feel like that becomes too consistent sometimes. Yeah, uh-huh. It becomes it's too predictable sometimes. And now Haitani with a huge life lead just needs one small hit. But Kazunoko being slippery, trying to make sure that he does not have the opportunity. Look at that stand short coming out. Oh, overhead instead! So match point now, Haitani. Yeah, match point once again. Bro. Gotta think that that stand short helped convince Kazunoko to not press the button. Mm -hmm. Even though they were just whiffs, those stand shorts, they did their work. Gets the throw, close to stun, one more hit, overhead, oh. wow, that wasn't enough, there it but is, that will be oh, enough, he's, and he's, he's gonna, gonna get build super? the meter, no, no not, quite. not quite, very close though, he has, oh, oh what, was it, what? did he expect he would have super there, maybe, that might, that, cause that would make some sense, she was very close to chip, oh, maybe chip uppercut death. in the maybe super, maybe try to go for, oh, you can just, I mean, just I uppercut, know. I'm sorry, yeah. you just super, right. so my guess is that he wanted super, anyway, it didn't come out like that, but it all worked out, yeah, or it could have been block low jab, just try to mash a super right, out afterwards. Right. Came out as uppercut, but right. it worked. That's my that, right. That's my guess. And Haitani stands up and was like, "Yeah, I meant that." I yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally yeah. on purpose. Yeah. Yeah. Good work. Good work. <laughs> so, but there it is. Haitani is now our fourth player who has qualified.